Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, fellow human. Welcome to another episode of Disorganized Productions. Today we have a special guest. His name is Milton Ocampo. And uh, say hello to Milton. And I give you, uh, I give you the, the, the word uh, to introduce yourself to the audience, uh, Milton. Yeah. Hello, guys. Uh, my name is Milton Ocampo. Um, I live in Los Angeles, California. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I just discovered God a few months ago, let's say six to seven months ago. I'm a flat earther, truth seeker, and I'm going through a spiritual journey, and it's exciting. Wow. And uh, when when did you came to God, and what what happened when you came to God? How how would this yeah how did it man work? so you know I had no purpose in life so I thought I was just a fly on the wall I um I lived one sided all this time I just went with the herd um, politics religion I had no opinion of it. Um, I then started seeing how the media will tell us to think and feel one way, but they will show something else. So it was contradicting to me. So I'm like, why are they saying something by showing something else? So that's when I started realizing, wait, I'm just being controlled maybe. So let me look into it. So I'm like, why are they not showing two sides of everything? So I can make my own conclusion. So then, you know, politics came. Everybody hated Trump. I'm like, why do they? Why do they hate this guy? Maybe okay. Maybe he is a jerk, but I don't know. So let me find out. So people are just getting emotional for something that he said. But then I'm like, no, that's not what he said. Why are you guys hmm. getting upset? So. Um, that's why I was looking for politics and he exposed the media and how the media controls everything. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, it's interesting. Yeah, they're telling us what to think. Um, so then I kept learning. I, guess I like learning. You know, if you stop learning, then you feel like you know everything and you don't. Mm -hmm. So I watch a lot of debates, you know, left, right, Republicans, Democrats, and I, I tend to lean more towards, I was always left, apparently, but then I was learning more on the right. So that opened my mind. Mm -hmm. So then I kept, um, okay, yeah, I'm a, I never voted in my life. Let me vote for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because because he's, he's a uh underdogs so to speak and yeah, especially yeah. In, in in my community I'm, I'm mexican i was born in mexico mm -hmm. so my friends brought me here as a kid um so i was like let me uh, i guess i have to stand up for everything that trump wants against so, yeah so i'm like okay no 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 he's right everybody's wrong you are hiding him let me vote Trump. Yeah. Anyways, later on, I knew that's all BS. It's all like to distract us, to divide us. Mm -hmm. So then I came across other debates, flat earthers versus scientists. Oh, that's a good yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, mm, uh, poor flat earthers, they're going to get destroyed. <laughs> you know, because scientists know everything, right? Exactly. So then they brought up God, like, yeah, they're hiding God. That's the whole goal. I'm like, what? Well, I don't know God, so maybe it's true, you know? Uh -huh. So I was watching the debates, and they're saying how there's no actual images. We've been to space, but there's no pictures. I'm like, yes, there is. So I Google pictures. <laughs> I wait, these are not pictures. They're right. <laughs> So I was, there's no, there's no way. <laughs> so let, let me, let me go back to NASA, to the scientists doing videos. Mm -hmm. And this lady said, 
you know what? I know there's space because I personally know an astronaut that went, to, well, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're just going back with some guy, like a telephone call, like, oh my God. So then it was like, oh my God, there is a God. Exactly. So, and I even typed in in the comment, I am a flat earther. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So then, I don't know if you've seen the movie Contact with, um, what's your face? Uh, Jodie? Jody. Yeah, Jodie Foster. Jodie Foster, yeah, yeah. When she's going to space and then she goes to like, this wormhole. Uh huh. So that's how I felt. And then it was like, bam, I saw the light. I was like, oh my God, you are real. Why are they hiding you? And I'm like, look, there's, he's, he's here. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm going crazy. Um, so then I was like, oh my God, there is a God. So I got very emotional. I was like, oh my, like, I was sorry, shaking. Mm -hmm. um, you know, then later on, okay, what's the, what's next? Like, how do I tell people? <laughs> that, yeah, you, you know, scream, scream it out of the roof, right? But Yeah, like, look at him. Hmm. So I'm like, oh, wow. So th then I, um, I started learning about the firmament about the Bible, I started looking, I didn't have a Bible because I was never religious. So let me, let me buy my Bible. I'm going to buy the Bible, the King James Version, because a lot of people with that helped me in this journey. That's what they were reading. So I'm like, let me just, again, go ahead and buy this book. Yeah. So I, I'm, as I'm waiting for it to arrive. I'm looking at videos to like catch up because I, I knew certain stories. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I was born Catholic. Well, I was I grew up Catholic. Was <laughs> so especially in Mexico, it was yes, yeah, um, main religion, right? Yeah, right. So as I was watching videos to catch up, I'm like, wait, this reminds me of the government. Mm -hmm. Even like Cain and Abel, how God separated them. There's a there's always been a division mm -hmm. and I'm like, why am I questioning God? Like he, he knows better. Right. So I'm like, why are, there's always been a division since the beginning. So that just hit me because, you know, especially just learning from how the government works. Mm -hmm. So I just kept going. And then, you know, as God is punishing, he sends plagues to the, to the Egyptians. I'm like, wait, that's, that's what the government does. Uh -huh. They do COVID, Spanish influenza. Mm -hmm. I'm like, are they are they hijacking the Bible, or is that just how everything works? So I'm just wondering. Of course, mm -hmm. my mind's wondering. I'm a thinker, especially now that I'm a truther. Right? I question everything. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> that's a good part of it. Never have a dull Jesus. moment because you're digging. Man, do we have a rest? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm reading the Bible. I'm like, okay, it's cool. Oh, yeah, there's a firmament. And I see it. You know, there's water above waters. At least that's what I see. I'm looking at it right now. Mm -hmm. That's why the sky is blue. And we're not moving thousands mm -hmm. of miles of whatever what they say. Um, so, you know, that, that hit with me. There is a firmament protecting us. And we see too far. Mm -hmm. So, sure, we're in a stationary, non-rotating plane. Got it. Exactly. So then, of course, most flat earthers, they're very Christian based. Mm -hmm. So me getting the Bible was like, okay, that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to be a born again Christian. You know, I'm reading the Bible. That's, that's what one does, right? So I'm doing research, like where to go. I'm asking around, mm -hmm. like my cousin, she's a Christian. I'm like, where do I go? It's like, you could go to my church. So I was doing research and like, they're, they're charging people pretty much. Or okay. there's a fee, I believe. So I'm like, why? <laughs> why? First of all, why am I paying for this Bible? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't it be included Free? with life? Right. Yeah. Especially yeah. when one wants to discover the truth. So again, all these questions. <laughs> 
of course <laughs> it never answers only questions yeah exactly and, and, and when you got an when you got a uh, when you got an answer the next question is going to pop up right but why <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> exactly um <laughs> So, uh, okay, so yeah, I'm doing research. I want to be a born again Christian. Um, and, and needless to say, like religion has always, going to church was always uncomfortable for me. Mm -hmm. Just sitting there, looking at all these images. Like they're worshiping the death of Jesus, of Christ. I'm like, wait, why is that a, why are you guys doing that? Why are you guys celebrating life? Life. So, and why is, why is there, why is he hanging in a cross? He did more than that. Why, <laughs> <laughs> why again? All these questions, right? Mm -hmm. So, I just keep going and going like, uh, maybe this is not for me. So, and I even, to other, I started listening to podcasts. And that's when I was like, God, I I'm I need brothers, like I need help. So that's when the Firmamental podcast came. Oh, shout out to the to Raul and yeah. Alex. Raul, yeah. Alex. Claude. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, the I, you know, listening to them, it's pretty, it was easy. First of all, Hobbes, he, Hobbes, George Hobbes, he's the one that introduced all of us. Oh, yes, absolutely. absolutely. And Hobbes was, the, Hobbes was the very first podcast I ever listened to. Like, I never yeah. even had a nap, nothing. Again, I was just a wandering soul, no uh -huh. purpose. So I started listening to Hobbes, and I even reached out to him. I'm like, ah, he's not going to respond to me. He's too busy. So he was the first one I said, oh, thank you for introducing me to... Well, for your platform, for the knowledge of me growing and introducing me to these other people. Mm -hmm. And I sent him the email of the Cain and Abel, like this, the the division between people. He's like, oh, that's interesting. Oh, wow, he responded, cool. So kept going and I'm like, I started no noticing the formula of how the world works and mm -hmm. the, the, the lies, right? Because when I discovered God, I think he showed me the lies. He mm -hmm. didn't show me the truth. He exposed me to the lies. I think that's a good, important uh, difference. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I still don't know the truth, right? But I, I think I'm pretty good at knowing people, good people and bad people, uh -huh. and lies. So, again, being a flat earther, it's not a heliocentric. It doesn't revolve around one person it's it's all of us um where am i going with this um <laughs> i think i think that's the that that's the best description of the journey where is it going to right so you ask yourself a question about uh could be god could be flat earth could be another conspiracy whatever you dig into it and it brings you another question about some existence or about some questions in life and just what you point out, there's always duality, right? Cain and Abel is about mm -hmm. duality, about good and wrong. Um, if you see Christianity nowadays, you have so many divided uh, uh, subcultures within Christianity. Yeah, one different book, branches. Different yeah. branches, yeah. And you, you don't see that that much in other religions. So that's what, what what's bringing me to a point like, okay, it's a great book. But um there are other things that are more resonating with me now and mm -hmm. in, the, in in the past than only this book that this is the truth and this is the whatever because i was always very connected to nature mm -hmm. and i'll tell it a mm -hmm. lot of podcasts and i think that that is what the creator god shows us it's all around us you know everything is in bloom right now because it's going to get spring and when I see that, I feel connected to, wow, something made all of this happen. So yeah. I know there's something which, which gives me a better understanding and a better line to that God, whatever God that will be in your own perspective, right? Mm -hmm. But when, when I dig into that, it was like these religions where I based my, my well, my, my, my spiritual path on, these were 
thousands of years before there was a Bible that that was telling people like, oh, you, you should do this and you should do that because then this and then that. But what about all these other religions that are based like 3,000, 4,000 years older? The ones that are hiding. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, this is also uh, a word that Christianity brought up, just like if you don't believe in one God, like our mm. God, or you believe in multiple gods, you're a pagan. Well, then that makes me a pagan because it resonates more with me than that somebody tells me, no, you shouldn't do this. No, you shouldn't do that. You should do this. You should do that. When you look into the other religions, they say, be truthful to yourself, love mm -hmm. each other, you know, mm -hmm. share and support. And that's it. They don't demand directly things. They don't apply all these rules, right? Exactly. And that makes more sense because I think we're all with trillions of universes. We are like, well, they say we are like seven or eight point billion people on this planet so that makes mm. eight billion several universes first of all but then you see everything in nature like the plants and the trees and the birds and the, and the animals these are also all for, for my perspective also uh, a lot of other dimensions and a lot of other universes if they have you their want, own world yeah exactly and if you look yeah. down to the soil you see ants, you see little bugs and stuff like that. These are universes too, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> and it's all in this beautiful place we called Earth, right? Yeah. So, and I think that that's the point where a lot of people are get lost about every single answer you get brings a lot of other questions. And you see, just like you said, you see the lies that it trying to present you on a very nice golden plate, just like eat this and you will be happy. Yeah. Wait a minute. What's the point of if I get some water, real water out of the store, I cost me more than like two or three liters of Coca-Cola. What's the point of that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make right. me sick, right? Mm -hmm. If you go to McDonald's, it's easy. Somebody cooks for you, but what, what's this? The, the stuff that you put in is it yeah. food or is it filling yeah. right mm. and i think that uh and please go ahead about the journey that you had and have about uh finding uh finding the truth yeah mm. so going back to how okay so the earth there's a shapeless we don't know the shape so why gave what gave it a shape the government why is it a globe all of a sudden? Mm -hmm. So then I couldn't help. Like, I know God. God doesn't have an image. It's a feeling. So what gave God an image? It could have been the government as well. Mm -hmm. In the form of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So that's when I made those connections. I'm like, why? No, that's not God to me. I am God. God is, his, God is, his, he's in me. I am the manifestation of God. Exactly. Well, you're God. So why are they distracting this man that he is the way to God when I, God is already in me? Why mm. am I going the long way when I already know him? He's in me. So that's, I saw all these distractions, the lies. At least to me, I don't want to insult anybody, offend anybody. If that's, I still know a lot of Catholics that believe in the Virgin Mary. I'm like, no, <laughs> she's, and how do the Christians not see, okay, you're seeing what happened to you guys in front of you. Like they're distracting you. Now there's all these churches that worship the Virgin Mary. They even have a day after her, December 12th. Hmm. Like they have a day for the, Virgin Maria, like Virgin Mary. I know I'm Catholic. We have all these churches. Uh -huh. And then Jesus' birthday is not even in December. I mean, we don't know all these <laughs> inconsistencies. Like, okay, so okay, that's not for me. So mm -hmm. that's when I couldn't help, but sorry, Christians, I'm not. You guys, so then I kept asking around about 
because I work with a lot of Iranian people. They're Muslim, so that's when Islam, Muslim, and, and then mm -hmm. I'm like, so what are you guys? Sorry, I'm so ignorant to Islam. I don't even know what's what. He's like, okay, so Islam is this, and then you're a Muslim or you're from Islam or some, you know, something like that. Yeah. So I'm like, he's not, but we don't, we don't want to be that. We don't want to be Muslim. Like, what do you mean? No, they took over and we had no choice. Like, oh shit, that's sad. So then, what are you guys? He's like, well, they're Sarusrian. I don't mm -hmm. know if you've heard of them, or maybe I'm not saying it right. So I'm like, what is that? Well, you know, you just have to speak good, be good, and then you worship the light. The light could be the sun, mm -hmm. the candle, light, something. Uh, oh, I, I, well, I like that because I, I saw the light, so then... Maybe I'm in the right way, in the right path. Hmm. But then there's, in the flat earth community, they're going against the heliocentric model, which I get, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're the center, but what's wrong with the light? The sun is giving us life. Mm -hmm. Don't get distracted. That's another distraction, another Jesus, uh -huh. another globe. No, look, the, we like the sun. The sun gives us life. Exactly. So it's another hijack thing that they're doing. Don't, like, let's be, look, nature is beautiful. Uh, oh, man, so much stuff that people get distracted from. So this is kind of personal because, you know, Christianity, because I'm a gay man. I don't even know if I am anymore because I gave up sex. Okay. It's only, it's only been a few months. So I'm like, Sympatical. yeah, I'm like, cause to me, Oh, also I was watching another debate of the Krishna conscience people. Mm -hmm. So the one with nature. So I was watching, um, there's this guy that I, I, I liked, um, Jordan, uh, Jesse Lee Peterson. Mm -hmm. I think he's a pastor, Christian. Uh, and then he had a guest as a Krishna conscious person. Sorry, I forget the names. And I'm still ignorant to that, but I, this is, there was talking about it. Mm -hmm. And then he asked him, so what do you think about homosexuality? He's like, well, it's not about that. It's about sex. Like people, sex distracts from connecting to God. Mm -hmm. Because now you're worried about the other person or about your needs as opposed to God's needs. I'm like, okay, that, that makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. So he's like, even straight people shouldn't have sex only to procreate. Yes. Life energy, you're fading away, especially if you give it like in a sex form, not in a love form, you know? It, yeah. So, so if you, if you, if you're having sex with another person to uh, give birth to a baby, that's the purpose of making sex. That's love. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And I think what, what uh, this pastor is pointing out is that uh, we are, and, the, you know, the media and the, the system knows that because why is 75% of all internet based on porn? Well, that's because they want to drain your energy. Yeah. So I totally agree with that. The other thing is um, we are one of the only primates or uh organisms that could have sex with others i think there are like one or two other species mm. that will have just like the bonobo monkeys they they will have sex with everyone um but the the thing is 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 there a purpose behind it so accept mm. the purpose of you know uh and and i can tell you, you uh, i can tell you just like okay you you should have sex with a woman because that's right if you don't feel like it's right why should you say that to a gay man or to a hetero to a hetero guy just like oh you you should have sex with with a gay man why well well you know and that there's a i think there's a lot of deception going on there too and distraction too because um distraction you are how you feel so when you having a one night stand with someone it doesn't matter who you are, what you have, and you have a good feeling about that. 
it's like drinking a beer or uh, smoking a cigar, right? But if you feel afterwards feeling bad being used or you use the other one for that perspective, then it's bad. And I think that's what he's trying to point out from my point of view, just that you have to be aware that it's a very sacred kind of ritual that you're performing with yourself and with someone else. And it doesn't matter if you're bi or gay or pan or whatever they, they, they know nowadays have, if there are needs there should, or should be for my perspective could be um, satisfied. Mm -hmm. But not in a way that is going to mess you up with the reality and with the, uh, uh, with, you know, uh, putting yourself in a bad corner just to have sex with someone else for fulfilling your needs. But if it's based on love or it's based on lust, lust, of, of course, is one of the things that we are very fast deceived in. Because mm -hmm. lust is something that we all want, right? That, but can you, just like you do now, if you have lust, but you can put it in this space that you don't have to go out to get the lust done, then you are very strong, Milton. Thank you. Then Thank you, you are very strong because a lot of people will, even when they have a relationship with someone else, which is truthful and based on, uh, uh, based on 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 uh, what's it what's it called on trust, they will screw around with someone else because they feel lust. That's not okay. But if you are genuine with someone and you have a great night, you have some drinks, and you have, you, you know you 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 connect to each other, when that ends in a, a great party <laughs> or <laughs> fulfill your 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 needs, why not? But I think there's a, yeah, and of course, because, and that's a question I have for you. How, how did you felt when you came to God or when you felt like, okay, now I'm going to know God, that the Christian church is, um, is against homosexuality? So that was one of my fears coming into this community, the truth community, because I base it all on Christian knows all. Christianity knows it all. They've got it figured out. Um, and I did agree with a lot of the with a lot of the teachings. For example, mm -hmm. marriage is between a man and a woman. I get that. Had I known what I know now, because I'm married to a man, married. Mm -hmm. But have but if I knew then what I know now, I wouldn't have gone married. Mm -hmm. Because it's okay for us to have a connection. Um, but that's, you know, that's, you know, they have to procreate all these rules can apply again, rules, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so even, I even, um, express how I felt certain, I'm like questioning Christianity. And of course they're more Jesus believers, Joshua, I should say. So they, sh they shut me down. Like my opinion didn't matter. Mm. I'm like, mm, okay, then maybe I don't belong to this community. So, oh, going back to the sex thing. Um, damn, I had a, a point. It's another distraction, sex. Because two people, like two men, especially with a man, they, we can com connect. Mm -hmm. Because I think people see gay has sex. Yeah. You guys are going to have anal that's... sex. I don't think that's the real point of being gay. No, right. But I, again, mainstream, the media, everything. If you're if you're friends with a gay man, something's happening. So I'm like, oh, wait, that's another distraction. I can connect to another soul, another person, because it leads to sex. Hmm. That's, that's why I, I actually avoided connecting with women, because they want sex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at me of course they do right yeah yeah <laughs> no. for our listeners we're, 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 milton is looking good man he, he he's got a beer mm. he's he's pumped he, no he's no it's water friendly eyes <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you 
for, shit. For, for everyone, <laughs> for everyone, that there, there's someone to connect with. It could be on several bases. You know, the things that you say, the things that you, how you talk, the things how you look, the things how you act in life. There can be so matter. many things that people mm -hmm. could attract to you. But the 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 thing is where I have a very big problem with any religion, to be honest with you. And I like to be honest because honestly it takes a little bit longer, but why should I, you know, tell myself some stupid things or yeah. some lies? So I like to be honest. If you see like there are two religions uh, nowadays, we, sh we we've been told that Islam is making a lot of victims, you know, uh, especially about the uh, ISIS and stuff like that, you know, the, the real uh, extreme uh, Muslims. Well, a lot of Muslims don't feel that way, but they will be putting in that corner. But if you look at Christianity, how many people were killed just by telling mm -hmm. just like, you believe in God and otherwise we're going to chop off your head. So what choice do you have if you're living in a village with a thousand people? Exactly. And 50, 50 hats have been rolled already. What would you do? So I think it's like modernism, uh, Nazi regime. You are a Nazi or you're going to be killed. What's your, what's your choice? You know, you want to live? You're going to be Christian or Nazi or whatever. Not yeah. we're going to kill you and your family. Mm -hmm. When you put belief system into that kind of violence it's like the there is no choice and you always should have a choice about whatever you feel like in life for my opinion you know I, yeah. I should I could worship whatever I want without being um, without being judged by judged. others <laughs> and that's something that that we have nowadays right so when you have a different point of view of someone else someone is going to judge you about what they believe system are what their religions tells them to be what their society tells them to be or whatever well if we let that loose and we accept the people as how they are which we should and we give them love and support I think that's the, the 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 most close to God that you can be, whatever God you have. Yeah, I hundred percent agree. Hmm. It's tough loving. Yeah, because you're born with your your pure heart. You you're born with love, and you just want to give people love, of course. And then there's reality that slaps you in the head, like what are you doing in the hand? Don't. You can't love too much. Mm. It people could get the wrong idea. Yeah, right. But what what does that mean? Like your people are good. People are good. Yeah. It's but what is it? What what I, oh, I learned in, in my traveling, I did traveling quite a lot for my businesses or for the jobs that I work with, uh, especially in Europe. And also in, in Brazil, uh, I learned very fast that you can't talk about religion or politics in whatever country you are, because you will be put it into a corner directly. If it's going to be red or blue, if it's going to be Christianity or Islam, if you're going to be against God or with God, you will bump into people that totally disagree with you and they will tell you why. And that's okay. That's that's okay. The, the thing is, if you don't talk about these two topics, you could have a great conversation with a fellow human on this plur on this earth. And that makes sense, you know, uh, and it doesn't. So, so I think the two biggest divided things that we have nowadays, as you mentioned before, is this religion or politics, because I was on a Trump train too, you know, oh, he's first... First of all, he was a business guy who wasn't in this uh, uh, political stuff and he would do good things because he would know how to run a company and stuff like that. Uh, he was talking and he was telling the good things that we wanted to hear. And they knew that probably because otherwise they wouldn't oh, yeah. put him in front, right? Good marketing, so, yeah. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> it's propaganda. And uh, I think the, one of the biggest uh, names in propaganda, first of all, is Goebbels. He was the right hand of Adolf Hitler. 
that he he knew exactly how to to put a spell on people right mm. and uh, the funny thing is as you mentioned before with with the bible which is scripted how many times has this script been rolled out and yeah. how many years has it been now played in exactly the same way because it is how you look at it in scripture and about the words what is meant with the sentences that they tell or with the feeling that you have and feeling uh, yeah yeah that's another thing i the sean hibbler movies level with me oh i call it the challenger effect because you know they they show the rocket so we could have a an emotional connection to that supporting space so then i'm like okay who else does that Mm -hmm. Jesus, he's in all the movies. We feel bad for him. Passion of the Christ. Mm. It triggers an emotion that we can't help but feeling bad for that guy. So we can't question that, right? Exactly. Same as NASA. We can't question NASA. They're, they're doing the right thing. They have the lab so, coat. They have the yeah. lab, we don't have lab a lab coat. coat. Yeah. No. <laughs> yep. no, I don't know anything. I'm just a flat tard. <laughs> <laughs> a shout out for Sean Hibbler because he's going to be on my show on Thursday. Oh, nice. Yeah, we rescheduled. He should be on last week, but uh, something came in between. But he's going to be there, and I'm very grateful for that, on Thursday. So we have a good conversation about his new movie. And for yeah. the listeners, if you don't know who Sean Hibber is, please check him out on YouTube uh, because he made a level level with me and the next, the next level. level. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, level, next level, one. and level with me. And then the new one's All World Order. Exactly. Um so another about that, I was hoping he was he will do more of the origin of religion, but I think he's focusing more on the scientific mm. of how we used to be we they, we used to have better technology and they get rid of that. Maybe hopefully next movie will be about the origins of how of nature of God, yeah, instead of religious. But <laughs> we, we, we maybe you let him know. <laughs> <laughs> I will dig into that. I will dig into that with him. What what is uh well because even with like again, Catholics, we they're forced to be Catholic. That's it. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, another thing that that helped me with the Krishna conscience people because they have the book and I was watching a video and some guy opened the book and there's an image of like, I don't know if you've seen this image. Of like the, the light going from child to adult and then to death. Uh -huh. So they have that book. And I remember seeing that book in Mexico when I grew up. So that hit, that connected with me. And like, wait, that's what we used to be taught in Mexico. Right. So I'm like, huh. So that just, you know, it just, God sends you these energies mm -hmm. for you to pick up. Um, so that that's why I was like, yep, no sex for me. I'm good. Because <laughs> again, it's, it's and I have to worry about then my energy. It's all about balance, right? Then mm -hmm. my energy's off. Like now I have to please this person. Otherwise, it's gonna be he's, he's gonna be mad at me. Then my energy's off. Like wondering, like is he doing something else with somebody else? So you know, it's not. Yeah, and the it's, funny it's, thing it's, is, when you. Well, I like to be just like said honest. If if you jerk off, which which is quite normal, right? Masturbation is something that you do to to get rid of some energies and stuff like that, you know. And you, I could... haven't done it in years, actually. Wow. Well, wow. masturbation, masturbation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Well, oh yeah. Right. Oh yeah. 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 But but the thing is, if you if you uh, if you do that and you don't uh come you will have a lot of energy stuck in your body which yeah. which makes me feel really good you know right that's what i'm saying that's even athletes do that right they tell you don't no, you guys can't have sex yeah yeah exactly <laughs> yeah because you have this this energy so that's when i that's how i want to think myself i'm connecting with god more hmm. because go ahead like even other people take my energy i have right, right. take it from me i'm okay and 
yeah, it's 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 about connecting. So it's that's how we could connect with people. Look, we're connecting. Like, like I feel something. I feel light. I feel happy. Um, yeah, and you're like, you know, across. You're in Netherlands, right? Yeah, in the Netherlands. Yeah. You speak five languages. I've heard. No, three, three. Oh, only three. <laughs> only three. But <laughs> only three. <laughs> only three. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, Dutch. Uh, German and English. Uh, mm. poco hablo español. Poco español, sí. Very well. I, I like language, but but uh, some of them are easier for me to understand than the others. So Italian, yeah. if I'm going to oh. be like uh, one or two weeks, hang around with Italians, uh, I probably could speak quite some words about that. And it has oh, to another... do, yeah, it has to do with with uh, uh, first of all, I've been, I've been grown up with two languages. So my father was German. So mm -hmm. it was basically taught German and Dutch. And mm -hmm. we got a dialect right here. So we have an accent. Oh, wow. uh, so every single uh, village here in the Netherlands has its own dialect. And with that dialect, it's, uh, and I hope I pronounce it all right, but it's uh, anglo saxish mm -hmm. uh, background. And so that's basically just like... Uh, English and German are very related, although people would say, oh, the completely different language. But the words, when you connect them, uh, that's that makes very, very much sense. And I think Santos Bonacci, uh, Bonacci uh, pointed that out. If you speak one language, he can learn you within one hour, like three or four languages, like French and Italian and uh, uh, Spanish. Because the words are almost the same. They're just yeah. like la, lo, li. You know, you just have to know what kind of... Masculine and feminine. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I took French for two years and it was pretty easy for me in, in high school. It was hmm. similar to Spanish. Oh, right. And, and was, you do was... speak Spanish? Sí. sí. Claro. Ah, cl oh, claro. <laughs> Muy bien. Por supuestamente. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and... Um, I, it's, it's a funny story. Um, I've been to Poland. <laughs> so I, I flew into Germany and they picked us up. That's a, a previous relationship that I had back when I was straight. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> back in the day. So yeah, back in the days, in the old days. So yeah, I, and I've been to Spain, Germany's, I mean, uh, Spain, Spanish is cool. Um, oh, another interesting thing about me, astrology played a big part in my life. Oh, wow. So I, that's how I connect people because, yeah, I did. I read, you know, I, I, I've studied some books, but then I don't know, books didn't really interest me for some reason. So I started, I started studying people, mm -hmm. like the like psychology of people. That's why this show resonated with me because I'm not a natural psychologist, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, I, I love how the mentality, how people think, how they, how a simple action could trigger like a disaster or beautiful. So that was always, um, yeah, that was resonated with me, astrology. Hmm. Um, I think it's just the natural Aquarian in us. Like we love to listen to people and, <laughs> and yeah. analyze them, break them down. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I'm, yes. Yeah. Yeah, don't don't domesticate us. Let our minds wander. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You can't put creative in a box or free thinkers in a box because we can be ourselves then. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Even as kids, don't let your kids wonder. Like, let them die. No, I'm saying you know, <laughs> let them make their own choices. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you don't be too aware about, and it depends on the child, and it depends on the parent, and it depends True. on a lot of other factors. But I know, I think that you want to point out, like, if somebody is going to uh, discover some things, let them discover instead yeah, of warn them for all the things that could happen, right? You yeah. know, just like the, 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 the crazy thing about the fire, don't touch the fire because it's all, uh, well, let them burn themselves for once. Yeah. So they know it for the next time instead of, you know, be very, uh, 
protective in their in their uh, education and in, in growing up because they, they won't figure out anything, you know, because everybody is taught, no, don't do that, don't do that. Why? Well, first of all, you're going to burn yourself or you're going to cut yourself or you're going to fall or whatever. You have to experience these things to make up your mind by yourself because otherwise you're going to be an automatic pilot being raised as a yeah as an adult you know just the people that we see now just like uh, uh yeah. automatic pilot <laughs> just like well what's happening to to mankind you know what, what about people that could think and of course it's a very um public enemy number one statement that we're going to have now we have a free conversation as to humans right and we talk about a lot of topics that a lot of people uh, probably find controversial stuff like that but that's okay yeah because when we don't do that and when we're going to watch our words and we're going to watch what we say and stuff like that that's that's prison you're preventing growth yeah exactly and and prevent uh and um probably uh don't give the other one the opportunity to love and support for the other because you're going to say, oh, no, th this is the line. No, there's no yeah. bloody line. Well, and that's one thing I want to say, too. They said since the beginning of times that I can remember, <laughs> well, sky is the limit. So mm. there should be nothing above the skies, right? Because when yeah. the sky is the limit, why would you say that? And why wouldn't you say, well, the universe <laughs> is the limit? Was it right. ever expanding with no stopping point? Yeah. yeah. Good point. Hmm. Hmm. It's funny. Um, I had this at work. I do property management. We have this lawyer. He doesn't. He has a glass eye. Uh huh. So God has a purpose for you, right? Talking about kids making their own mistakes. So he said, you told me because that's his first thing he goes so like, oh yeah, I don't have an eye because that's his insecurity. I think you know we all have insecurities. Mm -hmm. Um. So. He's like, oh, yeah, so one day I was playing and I grabbed a pair of scissors and I stabbed myself in the eye. <laughs> okay. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, you know what? And like, God did that to you because you you probably would have been an asshole. <laughs> no, honestly, like he's a good looking kid, good looking guy. Uh -huh. You would have been a jerk had he not had a bigger purpose for you because now you see the world a different way. I'm sh I didn't tell him this. Oh, I'm just wow. thinking aloud. So I knew it was because, you know, that's the, that was, he needed a, he needed re restrain from, mm. he was probably going to hurt people. Right. Deep down, I, I, I just felt that. Like, so God. Um, Everything has he, a reason, right? Yeah. God calmed you down. I think mm. he restrained you in a good way. Because again, everything's about balance. Right. And that's where I was going about the devil. I, then I feel bad about questioning. Oh, so again, comparing Jesus to the curvature. Mm -hmm. People ha I don't people have never seen Jesus. They just know he's real. But if he was a human, you should have seen the image of of Jesus. So then I compare that to the curvature. Like people have never seen the curvature, but it's there. It's, yeah, they still believe in it. Yeah, I took pictures. I have engineer friends. They work for the government, of course. So I'm like, look, I'm, I'm hiking. I'm like, here, this is a video. Of, I want to, I'm showing you the curvature. Oh, yeah, you see it. No, you don't. Oh, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> There's no curvature. It's like so what he like... said. Sorry, don't, don't make me cut you off. It's, it's like, no, no, trust me. I know what I'm <laughs> telling you yeah, because yeah, exactly. I read some things or I listened to some mm -hmm. people that know exactly where what they what they research oh, all right or i got a yeah. t-shirt on my shop is like um ah oh, what was on it um oh yeah trust me i know what i've researched which i think is a great one because mm. when a lot of people that tell you about some things they don't research it so a lot of people that that believe in the globe right. which is fine with me but why can't you back up the data that you have <laughs> That's 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 for yeah. me so interesting, you know. It's so interesting. Okay, tell me about yeah, your model. And, and that's I, I don't know. 
<laughs> so what's the belief system based and on? like well have you ever been on a plane like have you oh <laughs> like <laughs> you know i got two friends one of me one of them asked me i'm gonna debunk you with your flat earth theory go with me to paris to the eiffel tour and i was laughing out loud i said even the guys that you believe in like uh, uh uh, this clown uh, Tyson. Neil uh, deGrasse Tyson. Yeah, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He says, like, even if you're like uh, uh, 10,000 feet up, you, you don't see the curvature. So, what should I do on the Eiffel Tron, right? And the other one says, no, Rob, we've been to space. Go to me to Cape Canaveral. Canaveral. You can see the rockets there. And I told him, just like, look at every rocket launch there is in on youtube or whatever and you see that they all go like that that doesn't yep. make sense right no you should see it by your eyes well i see it but it doesn't make any sense to me yeah but he don't listen to the other narrative and i did that on purpose to listen to the other narrative to make up my own mind about what is the truth that they tell me should be the truth is that the real truth? Is it the plausible truth for myself with the things that they say? Well, it doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to question these things. And then they say, no, 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 no. We got a lab coat on and we, we you know, <laughs> but we show you the pictures from space, which are all fake. No, Rob, you, you say stupid things. Well, here it is. Every single image. And as a even, even admits it that they have rendered it and CGI and stuff like that. And they say, no, no, it's on the website, on NASA. <laughs> yeah, I just pointed out that they are fake. No, 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 not Na NASA made them, so they would be real. Wow. It's pride, right? Yeah. Pride makes them ignorant. I know what I'm talking about. You don't know. There's no way I'm being deceited. Um, it's one of the sins. People don't want to admit that they're wrong. There's no accountability. Mm. It's okay to be wrong. We've been used. We've all been used. Yeah. But I have a big problem with people that are telling me that I'm wrong, but don't listen to my story. Whatever that mm. is, whatever topic it is, you know, if you don't talk to each other about several things with well, let's say you have a completely different point of view about some things. If you don't listen to the other person talk, you will stuck into your own belief system because that's the, that's the truth, right? But yeah. then when you ask someone, where does this truth come from? Yeah, well, it's been written there or they teach us this or they've been telling you that. Wait a minute. Where is your critical thinking and that what I want to point out a few seconds ago with, with public enemy number one, the first people that they're going to kill in a war are the intellectuals because they have more common sense about stuff that's uh, uh, interesting, right? They see the lies, yeah. Yeah, and, and what they do first of all is book burning, which we're going to see right now in, the, in a few years or probably a few months, like digital book burning. There are some books that you can purchase which are just books, like the Bible is just a book. You can you can read it, you can agree with it, you can disagree with it, but that's okay. But other books, well, it's just like what I always say in my podcast. If you have a long corridor with all, with all um, uh, doors, and you say, oh, you can look into every single door, but except that, that one. one. Well, I want to see that one, right? I want to make <laughs> up my own mind. If you say, well, there's a very nasty dog, I would be afraid. And that's what they do right now. It don't look there because, or don't do that because, you know, these are the consequences. Okay. But why don't figure out the consequences ourselves? Mm -hmm. Right? That's, yeah. yeah that's Find your own truth. Don't tell me the truth. I want to find the truth. Yeah. Yeah. And Another thing that I'm... Too, it's like telling a gay person, no, you're wrong. You should uh, screw pussy. You know, or fuck, fuck pussy. Well, why? I don't feel like that. It's it's like telling the, the, the heterosexual, just like, no, you, you should, you know, suck some, 
<laughs> suck some cock. <laughs> well, I don't feel like it. Yeah, well, why right. would you make a gay person or lesbian or whatever do things that you don't want to do, yeah. but you want to tell them to do? <laughs> so about that, the way I always saw women, like no sexual desire, that's how I see men now. There's no sexual desire. Hmm. Because but, I'm more interested in connecting with people. Yeah, but that what's that that's the real connection, Milton. I, I think it's there's more purpose and more support, love, and satisfaction in a relationship that you can be yourself than expect something from the other that's based on sex or uh, support or whatever you know you should support and love each other no matter what kind of relation that you are right thank, thank you that's expectations that's what i'm trying to eliminate from my life because i love a person we have a good connection i shouldn't expect the same kind of love back because it doesn't matter right right so that that's Thank you for that, because that's what I'm, I'm struggling with right now. If the other person doesn't love me based on my expectations, then I hurt. Yeah. And I'm miserable. My energy is drained. Yeah, it's but... like I came with energy. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't come, oh, but you shit. came. Right? Yeah, I came. <laughs> <laughs> but you... you uh told just a few seconds ago that you had you you had a relationship with, with a woman yeah what um what made you aware that uh you probably uh were gay what was that journey well it started very early in my childhood i was a very sexual kid i I was attracted to men. I used to love the Leonardo and Thundercats. He was my crush. <laughs> so I always knew I was drawn to, and it could be from trauma. My father left me, of course. We mm -hmm. didn't grow up with a father. But I was always sexually attracted to men, even as a kindergartner. Um, I had a babysitter. I was like, we we're playing wrestling, and then I force myself to him and you know he did stuff yeah he's the adult he shouldn't have done anything I get that but mm. I kind of provoked that so I think my whole family is fucked up like that <laughs> like we have some kind of sexual I don't know we're cursed I don't know but yeah I was always attracted to that and the only reason why I came I um I was I married this person because I didn't I wanted to stop the questioning from other mm -hmm. people right um and again i didn't do anything sexually with a female until her so that was and and it was a lot of uh material stuff she needed a green card <laughs> it was that kind of stuff so she was gonna marry somebody else for that while we were boyfriend girlfriend but then I'm like no it didn't feel right mm -hmm. so let me do it so anyways that's how we got married um, and yeah, that's how, I mean, I always knew it was, I was attracted to men, but society, you know, yeah. people said, no, be with this person. Yeah. Because Do it's the normal, right thing. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it's very strange because marriage is something that isn't that long, uh, established in society. Um, mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. early days, like a few hundred years ago, families uh, married with each other because there was land involved or political systems and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, we, the normal people, wanted to marry. And uh, we did that, and it was a, uh, it was a curse to be divorced. Well, nowadays, you're going to marry, you're going to divorce, you're going to marry, and you, you, can, you can write some chapters in your books about that, right? The it became a thing, business. Yeah, yeah. The funny thing is, uh, somebody pointed out the other day and said to me, well, what kind of woman are do you feel attractive or what kind of man, you know, whatever that I would like? Mm -hmm. um, and I said, I, I, I like transsexuals. And you know why? 
<laughs> you know what? Best First of, of all, both worlds. If, if they're looking really good, that they, they're like beautiful girls, mm -hmm. but they have okay, so they have a dick. So it has a, a few few things that are uh interesting because first of all you know how to deal with that because you got yourself one and it's not that complicated as a pussy first of all <laughs> right <laughs> so the, the second thing is the second thing is um you don't have the 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 period every single time that you mm. you know that you know your week is going to be screwed <laughs> yeah so the, the third thing is probably they will have one hole that's going to be tighter than some pussy. And yeah. the fourth thing is, I, I don't know, I'm just going to spit some truth bombs here. The fourth thing is, if you are in a bar brawl, they can stand their man. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to this organized production, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> but you know, if you don't make fun of life yeah, and about the things course. that you see, then you know, if you're serious all the time, you're gonna be stuck into something that's 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 not giving you hope, love, support, or whatever. Because you know, don't take life too serious because you can you, you won't survive, anyways. But it takes a certain intelligence to find humor in things. I think not yeah. a lot of people have that. Yeah, but a lot of people are stuck in their what society thinks that they should do or sh shouldn't do. Right. Yeah, they're right. restrained for sure. Yeah, and it's, I think there are a lot of the, the most listeners that I have come from America or from Canada. Uh, a lot of people coming also from Europe. But within Europe, we have several countries that have to totally different uh, way of life or perspective about things then in in the netherlands we we are a very liberal well i don't know if that's a good word nowadays but you know we, we could smoke weed without any problems we got coffee shops we have multiculture in in europe since the, the beginning of time you know everyone went to to amsterdam <clears throat> amsterdam and rotterdam are uh especially rotterdam was a haven where a lot of people uh uh came like like the there is no real old cuisine here in the Netherlands because yeah. a lot of people brought that from across, you know, other countries like India and China. And they went to Harbor, not, not Haven, but Harbor in, in Rotterdam, which is the biggest Harbor of the, of, uh, of the European country. So we, 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 we had a lot of cultural influences already like a few hundred years ago when, and we went sailing, across the world you know uh mm -hmm. so yeah and and it, it if you are gay in amsterdam and they have canal uh, canal pride it's it's like uh the, with the rainbow flag and stuff like that it was like 50 years ago which was normal like one day that gays celebrate uh that they're different than the rest and it, that it was amsterdam is very open to 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 be who you want to be i can't do that in new york probably now but mm -hmm. you have to be very careful with these things right and in several countries you will be executed for some things that's that's maybe here in california is very liberal same as netherlands i guess we have a oh, june's coming so that's gay month oh complete month. i hate it Oh yeah, they could, we get a whole month, but I I, oh, I I don't see the point. Okay, so my partner and I we have West Hollywood down the street. That's where the gay community is, and it's it's turned so. It turned into a circus. Oh yeah, right. So we're maybe because we're older now, we're in the forties, and the newer generation is like, what are you guys doing? Um, we're just. Just looking at people, we're like it's like a zoo. All these guys with fake butts <clears throat> and twerking in the middle of the street. And then my partner's like, "Where's the self-respect? Where did that go?" Right. And we're like, "Hmm, you can be whatever you want. Just keep it to yourself in a way." Or <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't see how you have to put it in people's faces. I don't exactly. 
that's always been us. So, and going back to the marriage thing, I, so I saw everything being a business, right? And you, I, I, I like what you said that it's, it's, that's a recent thing because um, now that I'm learning how the government works, how they tax us for everything, marriage is a license where the government gets most of the profit, even going to court, the court system, regardless of who wins or loses, the government gets the money. And that's how they pay the lawyers, the attorneys. So, and then I'm learning about this, um, what is it? American State National, mm -hmm. where every person that is born or becomes a citizen, they create a bond, a like an insurance policy on you. So they get like right. a billion dollars per right. person. The company name of yourself. Yeah, right. So the USA is a company and we're all employees. Hmm. So that's where I'm trying to, you know, I'm like, why am I paying taxes? Well, Good not that question. I am. Not Good that question. I am, but <laughs> <laughs> like, when, do, when, when is my limit? Like, I don't want... I'm kind of, because I'm getting some letters. I'm like, what am I paying for? Send me the breakdown. Then I'll decide if I want to pay. Right, right. Watch. I'm, I'm doing it. So let's see. So next time when I call you, I'm going to be in jail. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, that's no problem. Just if, we, <laughs> if I can do something for you, you know, then that, 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 that's what we should do. And I think with that said, if we, and a lot of people think like we do. Well, maybe not on all the topics that we discuss about or talk about, but a lot of people are fed up about this system, whoever, yes. whatever that will be, right? But people say to me, oh, Rob, you can't make a change. Well, if I don't make the change myself, no one's right. going to follow me in my footsteps. You can't be a hypocrite. Exactly. And you, you, you should uh, unite. And then we come back to the topic that we discussed before if you saw what covid uh with the um the 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 demo marshes or what's it called um uh, when the protesters protesters walked down the street they weren't divided like oh but i'm muslim but i'm christian or i like trump or i right. like biden right they, they were just like with the same point of view we got to stop this stupid A common goal yeah exactly and that's where we have to go to and we have to love and support every single human being, even if you disagree with him on some points. That doesn't mean that you have to skip him for life or whatever, you know, because there's so much to learn from each other. And you, you know what's stopping people? Your partner, your relationship. If I were to be single, who keeps a shit? Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to sacrifice, I'm going to risk myself, but because I have this person that's depending on me, and as men, we always that we, we're restrained to, mm -hmm. with a lot of things. That's uh, if if I were like I wouldn't care, but I have to be considerate of this person now. Right. So that all that pre and, and and it's I think it was designed that way. You can't figure this out. You can't do anything about it because there's consequences. I think that's very good pointed out milton because i think that when the first people the normies said we want to marry that the system said well that's perfect because we can tax the shit out of them yeah. we can uh you know if they want to be like a fruitful person and want to support each other and stuff like that let's make it very hard so they will mm -hmm. stay together how yeah. many people are stuck in this relationship and don't want to divorce because of the children or what would the people say or what about my finances you know i have to oh, skip yeah. this house and i have to go to an apartment to a shithole where uh you know where, where these bombs live or whatever well what like, credit's difference? gonna get ruined you have to live in this place exactly not the government exactly and that the government said oh we have some things for you if you do this we can support you so you will fit into us yeah exactly so and but if you see that, and if you say no, that's a very hard word to say for a lot of people, right? No, mm -hmm. just no, two, two, two letters, right? And O. And I think Eric Finnis pointed that out, which was unbelievable when he said that. Believe, 
lie is in that mm. word. Mm. So if you know, that's something different. If you believe, you probably believe in a lie because you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. And exactly. And in the word know, and uh, K-N-O-W, there's mm. the word no. Yeah. And he pointed out, uh, listen to the podcast, because he pointed that out, and I uh, really liked how he, he, he did that. And I think mm. there's a lot of spells going on and a lot of things going on nowadays that they're going to put us up with because we're asking for it. Yes. You know, I know that there was this guy that was Griet Titular. He was the man with the house of the future in the 80s, I think. And he was a scientist, a real scientist. And he was telling like, we're going to have uh, telephones in the house without any wires and stuff like that. And we can connect to uh, a database and, and search things up. And everybody's just like, really? <laughs> and he has his beard. He was a real scientist guy, right? But he was not yeah. like Bill Nye, the science guy. He was a real scientist. And everybody said he's a crazy ass motherfucker, right? <laughs> but he was right. Mm. So the thing is, when you're going to believe in something, it's all about your own perspective. You know, there will yeah. probably looking people at it just like, oh, he's crazy. And they will they will tell you on a telephone wireless right now with an internet connection. He was crazy. Well, you mm -hmm. he saw the things already. And because he was telling that, you could always uh, you could also think, why did he point that out on TV, on national TV? Because probably they wanted to sell the marketing of, you know, you want to have these things. You want to have a telephone without wire. We're going to, we're going to give you these so we yeah. can control you. We got the black mirror already. We got a day. Everything thing. has an intention because exactly. to put something on TV or in the media, it's, it's planning. Yeah. Nothing's live. Right. So, okay. Even, Especially the Spanish news, man. The when the Hamas and the Israel, I saw how everything was staged. They have there's a guy carrying two kids, mm -hmm. and they go inside the van like if they're covered in ash, and then the, they just sit down. And there's a camera in front of them in the car in the van. I'm like what? <laughs> and the kids looking at the camera like, did I do it right? I'm like, do you guys not see this? Is it's Look what they're telling us. What well, they want us to belie. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> wait, can I take? Wait, let me go to the restroom real quick. Yeah, yeah, no props, no props. So, fellow human, I hope you enjoyed this podcast already. If you want to know more about me, just uh, look into the links where our all my websites and all the links to uh, to the stuff that I do. And uh, please subscribe to my channel and give me five thumbs up. Uh, I hope you like that and the content that I bring out because we, uh, we should support each other with the things that we do and bringing out the truth and having just good conversations with fellow humans and tell about the things that are... Uh, yeah, that are on our lives and the journeys that we make. So we're going to wait a second until Milton goes back and we're going to continue with a conversation, which is already awesome, to be honest with you, because we uh, we uh, touch base on a lot of things. And uh, that's what this organized productions does. We give everyone a stage to be their self and uh, talk about the journeys and the things that uh, how they see it. And I think that's a very uh, strong movement. And uh, I think that what that is what we all should do. We should give everyone the uh, opportunity Great. to talk. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I was just uh, filling up the gap a little bit. <laughs> oh, nice. Make a little bit of marketing move from my uh, from my platform. <laughs> that's that's a good Oof. thing too. But. Yeah, I think there are a lot of things, as we discussed before, that um, 
if you want some, you, you're going to get it, right? And yeah. exactly what you said. What's the perception or what's the, uh, what was the word you used? Um, intention. What's the intention why they give you some things? And that's my point of view with the Bible also. Not only with the Bible, but with all religion books. Everything. What's the intention that somebody wrote stuff down? And why do you believe so hard in that what's been written down? And for example, for the Bible, it's like 1500 years that several authors wrote down the Bible, which is made of, I think, 66 books, but not all of the books we can read. So we have you have the, the King James Version, which is like 300 pages, 400 pages, stuff like that, very little letters. But there are 66 books. So hmm. how much could you take out of that what's been told? And then there's like, who is King James? <laughs> That's a good question too, my brother. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Why does he have his own version? I asked some other people. <laughs> they're like, "Well, he was a slave owner, whatever." Or, but we don't know, right? It, even deeper, who gets the money? That if I buy a Bible, who gets the money? The, the what does biggest the money mob go to? in the world, and it's called the Vatican. I think it's before that, right? I mean, it's it before that. That's I think it's the, the first franchise. I think it's the first franchise method that's been brought out before McDonald's and stuff like that, right? <laughs> so you can have a book, but you can interpret it in a way that you do. And if you have people to your church, we we support you to give you a church. You ask your followers mm -hmm. for some money, and you will have a you know private jet, a Rolls Royce, and all that stuff. Hmm. And it's people business, could disagree right? with that, but if you look at the priests in America, how much money they make about you know pretending that they know the the knowledge of the Bible, I think it's a very fascinating book. Let me tell you that. I don't want to offend anyone, and right. if you're offended, I don't give a shit because that's, that's your perspective of being, you know, feeling not resonating with me or whatever and that's okay <laughs> you know i'm not that that um you have that fun. option you yeah have exactly you have that option to to play the victim role in your life right <laughs> 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 oh great talk i love this already man I've, you have I've, the option but you're a victim <laughs> yeah 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 exactly oh, oh oh i need i need some uh, some benefit from from the from the state because i'm a victim well you choose to be a victim first of all yeah, uh, and and offended is is about your own perception uh, per perception of the of what you think that's truthful or not. Off ended. Hmm. Yeah, ended off. Hmm. 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 You know, the Aquarius in me is thinking too much. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but these are two Aquarius on the podcast, so that that's why we'll go deep in, in a lot of things. <laughs> Oh man! So even the women's liberation movement. So the wordplay, even they're changing the Bible right in front of us, right? Mm -hmm. Or any scripture. But what you read, it's correct. Like, come on, guys, think, go back. Yeah. Even Vika. That's why, because I I messaged him, great person. Yeah, I love his guy, man. He said, "I don't believe in books." Yeah, exactly, because they've been written. Yeah. What's the I'm intention like, okay, of sense. writing something down? If you yeah. feel it by yourself, if I walk in nature and I see or I connect right. to God on, on that way, I don't know if it's a good way, but I feel like it's a good way, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, even if you throw 20 books to me with, a, with, with several topics that, that you say that's wrong, well, I, but I feel great about it. So I don't give a shit about what you... Yeah. Would, right? Because a lot of the... we. At least me, I see with my memory sometimes. Mm -hmm. I don't see with my eyes. I'm, I have the phone. I'm like, I, I remember I put the phone over there. So let me look for the phone when it's right in front of me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I think we we see a lot with our memory as opposed to living in the moment and look at what you're looking at. And are you pointing like, out sure like 
experiences that you had Maybe, that yeah you, yeah yeah experiences or something that you've been taught that your mind is wondering like space right mm -hmm. we know there's people think there's a space we've never been to it it's just something that we've seen in pictures tv imagine if we didn't i think that's what we should do like not even look at tv yeah that's a great point like, I, I don't have any tv because it's made me so much more connected to myself and to things that really are uh that matter that react exactly that really matter it made me a yeah. better person just to and, and it's not like i'm i'm I also need some bread and circus sometimes, right? Oh, yeah. But uh, to have a subjective meaning about stuff that's going on, I don't give, I, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't give a shit about it anymore. Mm. I don't even know what's, what's happening in my village because I don't care. It's, it's not involved with me, right? Yeah, it's what your surrounding is. Something that attracted me to, Maybe if, if I'm wrong, pagans. I thought it was about nature, but I somebody said something that it's more about creating a safe space in your environments. Hmm. I don't know. I'm still learning about it. And like, why is that a bad thing? Why right. are they hiding? Why are they perversing paganism or any other original origin, like culture? Even Mexicans, like, what I'm. Aztec, why am I Catholic now? <laughs> right, right. Well, what, what are they because, hiding? Probably because your grand grandfathers had a choice to be chopped off the head for being Christian, yes or no. So that's that, and that's that's the underlying thing that I'm very aware of. How could mm -hmm. you say that this book is the truth? And if you look at the crusades and stuff like that that were going on to bring the truth out in their belief system you killed a lot of people who didn't believe in that and there were like three thousand five four hundred years back to mesopotamia that believed in several gods or okay if i want to have fraternity or whatever i want to make children i pray to my gods like freya or friday mm. And that's the funny thing, too. I was talking to that uh, with Snake about it a lot because it's a subject that we really love to talk about. How, how could you say that? Okay, so, so you, you have a religion which is based on Christianity, right? But Christianity took all the seven days in the yes. week. <laughs> Five are based on paganism. If you look at the things that they celebrate, the traditions of pagans, they took it away from the pagans, like Christmas mm -hmm. and like Easter. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we can continue with this because the first churches that have been built have been taken from the pagans. And if you don't believe what I say, research for yourself. So there were 3,500 years before the Bible was written by several authors in several decades. There were people that believe in nature or were in uh, harmony with nature and just being good to each other. And of good course, energy. Yeah. And if you did something stupid in the community, whatever that would be, you would be uh, convicted for that, right? So if you rape your, uh, your, your neighbor or you, you kill mm. someone, you would be convicted for that crime, which makes mm. totally sense. And right. it's a God-given right, and it's a universal right to uh, to be. And that's one thing that, that, that messes me up, too. Nowadays, you don't have the choice to say, I'm in or out a system or in or out religion, because you have to be in a system. You have to fit into a religion. You have to be this. You have to be that. No, I'm Rob. I'm fine. Yeah. If not, you're an outcast, right? Yeah. Why can't I just be me, just be Rob, just be Milton? Exactly. And we can be completely wrong, which is, I welcome the, I welcome the opportunity to be wrong. That creates growth. I don't know any, anything. I just know I'm a good person and I know good people and I want to surround myself with good people. 
What's wrong with that? Exactly. <sighs> I don't. I don't want to be judged, and of course, people will judge me for the things that I say in a podcast or the way that yeah, I look or whatever. That's their problem. Exactly. That's that, that's. You know, if you, if you don't like it, the things that I say, okay, well, still There's good. Other choices. Yes, their choice exactly. But I still, I, I, I really have a big problem about. Oh no! But this is the truth, and I'm going to teach you the truth. Well, I'm I'm not signing up for this lecture because I don't care, right? Or I do, I do have a different point of view about some things, and if I'm uh, spitting out my truth or my belief system, I will be convicted or be, you know, um, yeah, people have an opinion about that. That, that's okay with me. But the funny thing is, if you look at paganism and Christianity, for example, Christians tell you you're wrong with paganism. You, you have the wrong gods and, and whatever. But the funny thing is, a pagan doesn't judge a Christian about being Christian. Mm -hmm. And that's fascinating me. That's like, what I do with um, Earth, flat earthers and globe earthers. Flat earthers don't question i mean don't don't judge them because we were them exactly so why are they shutting everything else off like well, yeah. no i know is what i say no listen learn yeah. let's learn from each other yeah as I, I, and you made your point there because a lot of let's let's call them globies they call you bad words mm -hmm. instead of bringing the truth to the table for their model, right? right. So it's like, oh, you're a moron. Oh, you're an idiot. No, no. What's your mm. take about your belief? And that was, that is something that George Hobbs points out and a lot of other podcasters too, right? Just like, okay, tell me what's your model based on? As David Weiss, with all the conversations he had about Flat Earth, with debunking the Globies, Oh no, you're a moron. Or oh, he is a strange voice. Oh no, he's a, that strange guy with with his flat Earth map. No, he's bringing up points that he didn't believe in the first system. Or he didn't believe in the first time, but he figured it out just like, wait a minute. If I do that with a lamp on this kitchen table, you have perspective. You have this. You have that. Oh shit, I'm believing yeah. in the wrong model. But if you ask them for, okay, what's your model based on? How, how many miles are the moon away from the earth? Or I, I don't know, what's the point? Well, what's the point? It's a model you believe in. So I would like to know about that model, right? Mm -hmm. it's I was not... arguing with this guy. He's, I think he's a scientist. Because my whole thing is like the globe. How far do we have to be for something to tilt? <laughs> like a mountain. Hmm like oh no it's too far for, oh, so by you how do you know there's a curvature if you can't see it show me something tilting how far do i have to go back for if i'm gonna tilt back right right oh no because every time i'm like it's perspective knows the curvature <sighs> all right i agree i don't know I, I, but going back to every time a christian tries to explain christian it's through the Bible. They just read scripture. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, and there's a curvature too. Like, it's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you, it's not there. And reading poetry, it's not going <laughs> to... Yeah. You want me to believe, lie something. Okay. Right. Reading a cookbook doesn't make you a cook. Right. It's like, it's, it's, it's good for the soul. I get it. Like, uh, there's these books, Chicken Soup. You know, they mm -hmm. make you feel good. If, if the Bible does that to you, good, you know, good. But don't yeah. tell me this is the truth. Um, so good. For, if it works for you, that's fine. But I think they should be more open-minded to grow, yeah. you know? Yeah. I totally agree with that. And I, I think if you, if you, it's like, it's like if, if you are into cars, you know, uh, I drive a Mercedes or a BMW or a Porsche and you ask the other one, just like, what kind of car do you drive? Well, I, dr I drive a, a Toyota. 
oh, man, you shouldn't drive there because the German cars are much better. Well, that's your perspective. Yeah. It doesn't, you know, it, it, it's, it's like, it's your belief system. And it's okay, you know, it drives you from A to B. But it's a car. Whatever yeah. you're going to say, it's a car. And if you like the German uh, techniques, fine. If, if you like the the uh, uh, the Japanese cars, is fine. You you drive a car, so there's nothing different about that. With well, the other hand, has uh, some different features, features, and the other one is more expensive or not. But it's still a car. We agree <laughs> upon that, right? But what yeah. a lot of people do is going to a tree, and they see a tree. Oh, that's a Porsche. What? <laughs> yeah, because, you know, uh, I think that's uh, been pointed out in scripture. Just like I was asking Adrian, uh, this pastor, great podcast. And by the way, great, great guy. I was asking him about, okay, so you got the apple, right? From uh, the Garden of Eden where the serpent, which is in my perspective, a snake, telling Eve to eat the apple. Well, first of all, an apple is a very delicious food, which is very uh, one of the, the easiest food to pick out to say, okay, that's a healthy thing, right? Mm -hmm. So you uh, take the apple and the serpent is telling you that. And then God was furious and told the snake, you're going to crawl for the rest of your life. Well, it's a snake. <laughs> So he, he crawled into that tree, first of all. So what does it make a difference to make him crawl for the rest of his life? Because he has no arms or legs. Or what if that wasn't a snake, but a cow? Would we say that the cow is a very bad animal? I mean, it's a creation of God. Everything is a creation of God. So it isn't that bad, isn't it? Hmm. And what about a Christian that has an Apple iPhone. Oh, that's hypocrite. You know what? <laughs> Let me ask something that hasn't been answered, at least to me. What's worse, a flat earther that doesn't believe in Christ, in Jesus, or a Christian that doesn't believe in flat earth? Huh. I think the last one. I think yeah. the last one. Because, <laughs> because it's, it's been written in the first pages, for God's sake. So it, right. it, it, the first things that you that you uh, find in the book are the first things that you relate with and that you say, wow, this is a good book, right? So you want to read more. It's always the beginning, right? It's always the beginning. That's what I found myself even playing video <laughs> games. <laughs> Playing video games, I'm like, okay, I'm okay, I'm almost towards the end. Yes, let me let me start again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> something yeah. something tells me the beginning is more exciting. It's like you're you're you 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 see growth, right? Yeah, it's like That's... tuning into a movie, and if the first five minutes don't capture you, just like, oh yeah. wow, this is great movie, I'm gonna turn it off. Yeah. If the first five minutes just like, oh, shit, this is going to be great, you know, this right. character and the, the story about the and what's going on, you know, you want to you want to know more. Otherwise, you're going to just tune in to something else. Yeah. And then there's a prequel. Like, what are they? How did everything start it before the beginning? Yeah, that, that's, that's why they make 66 books, Milton. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's it called if you make 66 books. But then going to Vika's point, we, if we didn't have books, we we just learn from one another. Exactly. I was pointing out on the other day on the podcast, what if we put people mm -hmm. in a community on a, on a remote island without any religion or science? They would live closer to God than everyone on this earth who pretends to be close to God or whatever. Because they don't have any indoctrination about, hey, you see this? Do you think that, that this community, when they see falling an apple from a tree, think like, oh, we're going to make a word for that? Like, gra 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 gravity. Oh, yeah, we agree. with No, they would probably think, oh, shit. 
Oh. Well, why is it why is it falling, right? Or it's delicious. Exactly. Probably they will notice that when the first one falls, that the rest is ripe. That's yeah. science. Real science. Real science. Really. Yeah, exactly. And if they are seeing the days as they are, they, they will eventually see there's a little, uh, you know, that the, the seasons and the sun and the moon, just like, oh, wow, first it was round and now mm. it's a little bit, you know, then you figure things out, but you don't have something like, oh, we figure it out. Look at this. We have some mm. fake pictures to debunk everything that you say. <laughs> and and when somebody comes to the island which which has a white lab coat on mm. and nobody knows what a white lab coat is they were just like oh my god yeah i wonder where that comes from why the uniform i get we all need uniforms too but even then why well the the funny thing is i was talking to this uh uh army veteran who went to iraq and and, and uh, afghanistan and the the people over there were were, uh, were not stupid, but they, their belief system is that they shouldn't know too much because of uh. their indoctrination about the belief system, right? So mm. when they rolled up their, their tanks or whatever uh, vehicle that was, they called that an iron dragon, okay. right? So I think it was like 10 or 50 years ago when a plane flew over the Amazon and there was this uh, this tribe that was shooting arrows to the plane. And we were thinking like, oh, come on, what do you want to do with an arrow? But if you never saw something like the iron bird on your mm. in, in your in your habitat, in your territory, yeah. just like well, I'm going to I'm going to throw sticks and stones and whatever, because get out of Get the fuck out of here, right? Mm -hmm. But, hmm. and that's the other thing. We believe that we're so superior uh, yeah. against everything else, but we're not. Just like the, the if it's going to be a cow or a fox or a buck or a tree or a plant, they're all superior in their way to survive this, this creation. Otherwise, why would they exist? Right. Hmm. Hmm. We're very selfish, right? Yeah, <laughs> like we are. We have everything figured out. We know everything. We know better than the rest of the people, even their ancestors. Yeah. That's that's what we think. Yeah. Because we are talking to a mobile telephone that's going to... Right. Stick. Yeah. That's why I, I fight with my brother, my, my brother-in-law, because you know, college educated, they have good careers, but they don't find any wisdom in the Bible, which, or anything, or anybody else, even his mom is very religious, very, but I know better, he feels, you know, because mm. I think he, he finally finds more worth in money, material stuff. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I was going. It just came to me. Oh shit! Yeah, but we screwed up with the material stuff. Yeah. So, so we have all these products, and uh, even from from China, Alibaba, and stuff like that. And uh, we just like the Western world. Oh, we're gonna uh, boycott them and stuff like that. No, we want it because otherwise they won't produce that stuff. Mm. And they and if you right. see how many people there are living in China that 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 uh, buy these products, it can be cheap stuff or that breaks down easily because otherwise like 1 billion people will be against you as a company right so mm -hmm. you that makes no sense hmm. because they can do it with uh, a very uh, low labor costs and if they do child labor and stuff like that well that that's that's wrong in the first opinion in in the first take but Everybody wants to have their Nikes on for like 40, 50 bucks instead of 400, you know? So there is a, there is marketing. It's like uh, demand and, and, and have the product. And if you're going to have uh, Nike based in America with uh, American workers and stuff like that, the, the, the shoes would be too expensive for the normal people. 
Yeah, I think that comes down to trauma, your upbringing, being, you have to compensate for something that's missing in you. You have to, if you don't get these shoes, people are not going to like you. So I think it all comes down to breaking down the foundation of maybe family. Well, because now it's very common now, right? You, mm. You're not full. There's always something missing from you. I think right. this comes from the parenting, not having a father or a mother. You, you, you need material things. And it's all designed that way to fulfill your happiness, yeah. fulfill your worth. Right, because if you don't have these things, you're don't you're not you're worthless. Exactly. There's no value to you. Exactly. When your value is in your heart, when your mind, mind, body, and soul. Mm -hmm. But but you and, are on that now. A lot of yes. people aren't. Oh yeah, thank you. Because even I lost 25, 30 pounds since I, you know, and that people can see it. Even my partner, he's we're. We're struggling with that because I there's change in me. Mm -hmm. He there hasn't been change in him, and I there's a tension, especially with two men. There's tension because it's competition. Uh huh. Uh huh. And like usually, like women know their they know their place, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but actually, it takes more strength to be submissive, be supportive. I mm -hmm. think it takes a lot of strength. To put the trust in someone that could easily get rid of you, you know. True. So I, I saw that a, a while back, but um, yeah. There's um, there's it's like competition because he thinks I've been through a spiritual journey even before I met you. Okay, good for you. But he's you he think he sees a change in me more than him. Uh -huh. So, I don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't want to, you know, teach something that I'm not doing. And I don't, I'm not teaching anything like, okay, look, I'm changing. My mm -hmm. body has changed. My, I'm a better person, I think. I'm, I'm, I, I, have, I have a lot of anger from the abandonment and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm handling it way better. Um, but it's growth. I think I, I, I show growth. So... I can, I have some validation for that. People are not just going to think I'm a crazy guy <laughs> unless I show them proof, right? Yeah, but, but it gives you strength and it gives you self-confidence. Mm -hmm. And then mm. people see that as a, a, a bad way to change because mm. you're more self-confident about the things that you say. You are more walking upright. You're feeling more confidence because because you, you lost weight and stuff like that. People see that change as something bad because they want to have that chubby Milton, for example, because they they knew you on that point. Mm -hmm. And when you yeah. change in, on the benefits for yourself, for the good things for yourself, they think it's going to be bad to change on, on that way. Just like if you change in the way uh, what you see as a perspective on religion or flat earth or whatever, right? They see that, oh, he's going to be, you know, bananas. He, he's going to be uh, ready for the loony bin. Well, mm -hmm. why is that? Because I make a better point than you about the things that I believe in. So, and that's that's also the fear that's indoctrinated in us. We are very comfortable beings when we do not change. And we don't like to change. You know, if you come home and you're completely interior is changed just like oh what the fuck happened here right <laughs> we we like to be in our own comfort zone so when we walk in there's it the, there's the couch there's the kitchen but when you all of a sudden come home and everything is turned around just like oh, oh what, what what's happening a lot of people yeah. can't adapt to that and it's the same with everything if you change yourself about teaching yourself stuff uh, work out, uh, meditate, whatever stuff that you do, when you feel that you change yourself, people are falling away from you because they do not accept or they do not want you to change. 
it's like they can't it, keep up they, exactly they can't keep up they can't keep up that, yeah that's... right now physically and mentally i've grown emotionally i'm still the little milton that got abandoned had they didn't have a father mm. that needs acceptance from people um i still have a lot of love in me but when i i have a connection with with someone it's it's not reciprocated we talked about this before and that still is holding me back from growth because you know i maybe i have to love myself still um yes and so when I see myself and someone that it's very similar to myself and I pour my love and then it's not reciprocated, I'm like, but we're the same person. I'm a reflection of you. You're a reflection of me. Why are you loving me? Hmm. But then it goes back to my expectations. Exactly. So I shouldn't, that's what I'm working on, expectations from people. And you point out something great because loving yourself it's very hard. Yeah. That's why we seek a lot of relationships that people tell you, oh, I love you. Mm-hmm. But you have to love yourself and every truly cell that is in you. That means the light and the dark, the good and the bad. So I'm very aware of my person that I love me as Rob, but I know my flaws and I have to love them too. I have to love myself that I'm be sometimes egoistic or, you know, to be uh, uh, hard to myself or sometimes just to be wasted because I want to get wasted. I don't love that part, but I have to love it to embrace it because that's the whole thing, right? It's learning. It's like this, it's like this birthday party or this party, whatever. There's a time when you come and a time when you go. And in between, magic happens or not. And sometimes you have a good conversation with people. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you like the music. Sometimes you don't. There's always duality within ourselves. But you have to embrace them to love you fully as you are. And when you do that, you can love the other one without any expectations. Because you know that you have some limited belief system in yourself as well. Yeah, it's life and death, right? You have to kill something in you to live. Exactly. And yeah. that's what I see when I walk down in a forest. You see these trees, you know, and, and, and especially when you walk down the several the same path several times. You see so it's always it's always going round, right? So so now it's blossoming. So, and then there is a storm and, and some, some healthy trees fall over. There are some mushrooms on it, w- which clears the zone and gives uh, uh, fruit and, and soil for the rest. And this little tree that, that wasn't there like two or three uh, months ago is now starting to grow because there's more light because this other tree fell over. So it's, it's that. Mm. It's that. It's that what I really love or what I love to see. Every action is a reaction, right? Exactly. And it's all connected. It is. It is. Yeah. I love this talk, Milton. Oh, thank you. Yeah, same here. You're my very first uh, podcast, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm sorry you lost your virginity right now. <laughs> I'm a born again virgin. So. Yay! Yay! <laughs> you see, oh, something shit. has to die to get new yeah, life. Yeah. So, so, yeah. I hope it felt well. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're great. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, but I think that that's 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 the thing. If if you if you know that everything is duality, everything is life and death, love and hate. Yeah, I was telling um, someone, I feel bad for the devil. He has this bad rep, like he's he's doing bad. Like, but that's growth. 
Hmm. It's like, if God is in us and God needs a balance, I think the devil is in us too. We have to. That's the point. Yeah. You choose we... the light or the darkness. Yeah. For yes, yourself, you always... but also for others. Right. I can be a pain in the ass or an asshole to give someone, someone else hell. Yeah. I can choose to be the light also and to support somebody and to give love to them. Yeah, you can be good all the time because the devil and somebody else will take over. So that's when you have to recognize you have to be ready to battle, whether it's yourself or somebody else. Right. You have to, okay, God, go ahead. Take this one for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Devil, come on, help out. <laughs> yeah. And that's my mind to decide, right? It's like they always have the images of the God and the devil. <laughs> okay, you choose. Exactly. But you have to make, you have to acknowledge both. Yeah, and you will be judged about both. So whatever decision you made, some people could tell you you're a devil about taking care of yourself. And the other ones will say, oh, good for you mm -hmm. to take care of yourself. So that's light, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, there's... There's so much going on in, 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 and I think God is, is the creator and we are copy paste, uh, Christ Jesus, you know, the, the, the God is in us. We create yes. our own universe mm -hmm. with all these universes combined. We are mm -hmm. ever expanding. Yes. Because when, when you dig into more stuff like what is a universe right if you take a scoop mm -hmm. of soil you have a universe within your hands and when you open up your eyes for the first time in your in your life uh, from that moment on universes around you create a universe for yourself and then you're going to create your own universe your own uh stuff yeah, because even listening, looking at people like kids with cancer, you know how they're trying to make us feel guilty, like donate, give money. Mm. And oh, they're suffering. Like, why are they suffering? You, that's their world. Right. We're comparing them to our world. They're probably just the happiest they've ever, they, that's all they're ever going to know. Why are we fogging their lives? Mm. They, they're, Ask them first of all. Ask them how how they are. Don't tell them that cancer is well, cancer is something they create. But that's another topic. Right. But if somebody's born with Down syndrome, for example, like they uh, to me they're even closer to God because they're just pure. They're good. Exactly. It's our per our perception that makes them. It's not about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like but that's wow. But that's. That's the real truth. It's not about you. It's about us. Yeah, it's everything. It's, it's exactly it's everything. If if we don't connect to each other in the way that we do now, I mean, the the things is that technology. I have some bad feelings about it, about what it brings brings us. But the other thing is, I can talk to you, right, just like this in in this conversation. And like 10, 15 years ago, it, it, it cost you like 100 or $200 just to talk to someone on the other side of the pond, you know, with the telephone. Nowadays, we can have a video chat, whatever. So it, there, there's always a duality, right? It's what and we you, make of it. Exactly. There's also what's your perspective on it, you know? Yeah. Like the Amish wouldn't do this because they would say that this is bad. Well, okay, good. Yeah. Uh, and if they don't like that, Cool, but yeah. they have a very nice society created community for themselves. You know, they they, they 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 go to bed when the sun goes down, and they go up when the sun goes up. That they, they 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 do everything with their hands. They they're more close to nature than mm -hmm. a lot of other people, but they choose for it. And that's the point of view I have with a lot of these systems and divide and conquer. You've been pushed into something instead of been asked right. what about what's your concern what do you want 
What do you want exactly? Are we going to be WEF with Klaus Schwab? Well, I didn't vote for you, stupid ass. So, buzz off. No, no, you mm-hmm. don't have a choice. Well, I do have a choice. I just say no. Mm-hmm. But if that's going to be granted for me to live a beautiful, fruitful life, I don't know. But if a lot of people will say, no, we don't do that. You know, why would you uh, produce a product that nobody's going to buy? Because it's mm. the same thing with a religion or with a belief system. How are we going to do that? Well, no. <laughs> mm. You know, what, what are you going to do? Yeah. It's, man. Yeah. That's my goal in, with connecting with people. It's I want us to connect without... You know, again, technology is great, but I want to know some, a neighbor down the street that has the same belief, and we know we know what we have to do when the time comes. Hmm. Like we could go to Alex, Canada, yeah, Raul in New Mexico, do some kind of we even Alex and I have developed our own little language, <laughs> our codes that wow. only us know, only we two know. So, anyways, Alex. So, shout out to Alex. He's the one that motivated me to finally go on a podcast. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, Are he's you the reason. Is he going to be in the too? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Let's see how Hobbs, this goes. You, you shout out to George Hobbs. Did, did he contact you to, to schedule already? Or So, yeah. Actually, today he responded because I, 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 um, I answered his questionnaire. And he said, oh, thank you. I'll reach out as soon as I have something scheduled. So, Okay, Before cool. this, he reached out. So, yeah, I don't know how <laughs> he's going to feel about, but whatever. That's just me. I'm just going to be me. Oh, the, uh, Milton, that's all you have to do, man. Just just yeah. be you. And uh, I think that's that that's for a lot of our listeners. Be, be yourself, man, and, and just say no sometimes or sometimes yes. And when there's friction about comfort zones, where there's friction, there's energy. So mm-hmm, you have to jump mm-hmm. into deep sometimes or jump into a cold shower. And uh, oh, I do, I do cold showers. Do you know that? Oh, when I became a flat earth, I don't, I don't know. It just my crazy. I'm like, okay, I'm ready for Antarctica. I'm gonna go. <laughs> God has prepared me for <laughs> You're Antarctica. Swim you there. Let's go. I'm ready, God. Yeah, so I started showering with cold water and I love it. It's, it's something you have to adapt to, but once you do it, you're gonna miss it when you don't do it. Oh, yeah, no, I can't. Right? Yeah, I don't see how did why you do I that? Just like you jump into the real cold, or just did you take a shower and then okay, maybe I should, and then your mind is gonna bubbling, right? Then I'm yeah. gonna turn off the heat. Well, no, I I, I always like the cold, right? So and I always go against the norm, so to speak. So good. Everybody was taking hot shower, like I don't get it. it doesn't it's burning me? I don't. This doesn't feel good. <laughs> Right, right. So let me do a cold. Let me take a cold. Oh, it's feel feel great. So there's no logic behind it. I just started doing it. I, I don't know what that. it means. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and I, I, oh, and another thing, when I learned about flat Earth, like the indoctrination, right? What else are they hiding? What else are they doing to make me remove myself from God? Food. Mm-hmm. Food is a business. They tell you breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like, no, why? I don't. I'm just hurting myself. Yeah, I don't need. I just this 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 is my breakfast and lunch. Uh, what are you drinking there, then? Coffee? Um, tequila? No, no, it's, <laughs> it's just coffee. It's coffee. <laughs> that does the trick. That that makes the day good, right? To start. I am a tequila, tequila drinker. Tequila, yeah, I haven't really drank a lot. It's, um, but yeah, tequila is my my preferred. I don't drink it as often now but yeah i love tequila and it's with salt and lemon right no no just like pure tequila oh yeah, what is that what, what, do you, what do you do that with the I mean, uh, that's i don't know why people do tourist that. thing right yeah, it's a mainstream <laughs> it's a business right <laughs> right so you're going to sell no. more lemons more salt yeah uh, there you go yeah. and i'm like well, no it's it's if it's not good by itself even with food, if you need to add a lot of, if you need ketchup or something to your food, it's not good. That's just right. my philosophy. Right, right. Like it needs to be ready to be enjoyed. Mm. If it's not tequila, it's, uh, yeah, you can't drink like cheap stuff anymore either. 
Yeah, it's like it's going through your body, right? You have to take care of yourself. Right, it's the temple. Yeah, yeah. This. Yeah. Sometimes you have to do. I I I really have have a big addiction with chocolate. I shouldn't buy it because I I eat it all. And um, uh, but I love it. And and sometimes you you have to celebrate life, right? Yeah. And I was a heavy drinker, and I don't drink that much nowadays. I still drink. What do you drink? Um, uh, but it depends. Maybe a good beer, but like, uh, we have special beers like the Belgian beer. Mm. But it's a little bit more heavy or stout. Friends of mine drink yeah. stout, uh, but I can't afford it, or I don't want to spend like fifteen bucks for only a little can of uh great great stuff but hmm. um yeah you always have a choice with food with drinks and stuff like that so what what's on the table you have a choice to take it or not and i was taking everything that was on the table anyways hmm. and then i made up my mind because also i had some health questions uh they took 35 centimeters out of my intestines when I had third for the third time an inflammation and a perforation of my intestine. So they had to take 35 centimeters out. So you have to be aware of like, okay, this, this sex, drugs and rock and roll uh, lifestyle mm. right. almost took a toll on me. So what, what you got to change, you know, okay, we're, mm -hmm. we're going to do some, uh, some, some Coke and ecstasy, drink the shit out. You know, what's my life expansion then? So you're going to think about that. And uh, it's something that I, I always tell myself uh, something like, okay, I am can make a choice, but I will never ever say I will never do that again. Right. That's something I, I don't, I don't like for myself. And I coach the, the same thing to, to people that I coach. Don't tell yourself, I do never, ever do that again, because you're going to get yourself some pressure that's yeah. making you so bad when you just have a party and you drink something. And it's okay, you know. It, people would disagree, that's okay. But it's okay sometimes to drink. But the thing is, if you have really a problem with drinking, that you know when you drink once that you have to do it twice and you have to do it all over again, that's mm. a different story. You that's have. what i told my partner about sex um i don't know how long this is gonna last mm -hmm. you know maybe i want it the next day or a week or who knows i don't want to live in myself i'm just saying please respect what i'm going through and oh, let's see how it goes when did you discover god good question milton i think it it it, it was I was already connected with him uh, on the natural way. So with meditation and with walking bare feet and walking into nature. But then, uh, well, shout out to George Hobbs. Uh, he, he made the Flat Earth Files. I was digging into the first episode. And before I knew it, it was like episode number 36. Uh, and because I'm podcasting right now, we're listening to all the podcasts also to prepare and to to dig into some other stuff uh uh I, i'm i think like eight or nine episodes behind now but uh yeah and also with raul we were talking about the subject and they were brought up the subject uh of about genesis and about flat earth and uh i said oh yeah man i know a little bit about it you know i've, I've been raised catholic uh don't do anything about that with with the church but uh I said, okay, let me get a Bible. So I, I, I also purchased like a half a year ago the, the King James Version uh, just to have the book because I think it's a guideline. Mm -hmm. um, it's a guideline about uh, things that you go through as a person and things that you can uh, get through as a person or some topics that you could be involved with and the bible gives you a guideline how to deal with it or how christ jesus jesus christ yeshua whatever you're going to call him uh dealt with it so yeah that brought me closer to okay i'm on the right path i know that there's a creator because otherwise i wouldn't see all the beauty in uh in nature surrounded by me and i was digging into the person myself who am i what am i 
and um, open up for a lot of other people. And uh, I think that's the, the, the most truthful thing that, that you can do that brings you closer to God. So that's a little bit about my journey to say, yes, there is a creator. I call it God. I was talking to that with a friend of mine. He laughed at me in my face. You religious blah. I said, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You don't know my perception about what I think that God is. Yeah. It's not in a religious way. It's not like in the biblical way. There, there is something that created everything that's here. And uh, there's a lot of people that I connect with nowadays, just like you, Milton, that uh, bring me closer to the true meaning about who I am and what we are. And I think that's the Christ, that's the church. Uh, because even the Bible doesn't say about churches. It, it says about spreading the word and talk about it. And that's how you can uh, grow. And that's how you can gain knowledge. And that's how you can gain love and support. And uh, yeah, I think that's the true meaning of God. Hmm. Connection? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, just like what we're doing now, you know, just like yeah. basically two chaps that, that, that have a talk. We were texting each other last week for the first time. A <laughs> uh, funny thing that, that you said to me, the, one of the first things that you said is, what is your birth sign? What's your, what's your birth date? And uh, we just like, oh, wow, tick in a box. We're both uh, Aquarius. So that, that's, that's, that resonated directly. And uh, we had a small chat and, and I directly had, had this connection feeling. I think yeah. there's nothing faster than the connection of a human being within the ether. I mean, there's a lot of things we don't see. So this is why I reached out to you. So I was working on this energy. Somebody said that they were going to do a session with someone that could potentially drain their energy. So I'm like, let me let me send some positive. Let me let me take some. Let me protect this person. So I was meditating. I sent something. And then your name came up to me. What? Rob, yep. I'm like, Rob? Okay, <laughs> whatever. So that's when I message you. And then here we are. Wow. Yeah. You see, I mean, if that isn't magic. Right? You, you know? And I think if, if you can read the signs that have been given to you, throughout yeah. the day you're missing a lot of things that and if you see a little bit and, and like flat earth is just like putting up the veil a little bit you know that you see some things yeah or or think that you know some things but there are so many rabbit holes where you can dive into uh but the connection with people like same minded people and uh, the, the funny thing is, I have this with everyone I had on my podcast. I'm very grateful for that. I'm very blessed that I can talk to a lot of people. I just want to, you know, average, you just want to want to grab them and, and just hug them to feel the energy because you have some su such a great conversation. And you, I never talked to anyone on the podcast before. And I think that is what makes it very interesting to see that people even if you go to the grocery store or stuff like that be aware that there's a struggle inside of them and there are some things that they want to share with you if you ask the right questions if you are with the right intention and to 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 open up you know because we don't know what's going on in somebody's head but there's always a connection that, that could be established because we're human. Yeah, but, a, but unfortunately, there's a lot of rules to prevent <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. You know, I can't, if as a gay person, I can't just go and talk to another man that's attractive because we're going to have sex. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying that's just what people see. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. wrong in things. 
Right. I can't, I can't talk to her. Like, it's funny because I, I, I remember seeing this old lady and, and her daughter. Their daughter was caressing her like they were cold. And to me, that was so beautiful that the, the daughter was comforting her. And I'm not going to just, I can't walk up and saying, oh, this is a beautiful thing. I look like a creep. <laughs> <laughs> but I did wish them, I, I gave them some blessings. Like, who am I to bless somebody? But like, they had good energy. I'm like, God bless you guys. I said it to myself. So it's right. all those signs that you could just do it in silence, I guess, because unfortunately, we're in a society that we can't connect in a deeper level. Mm. But we're working on it. Yeah, yeah, yes. And I that's think why that's... I'm here. I'm like, I will never do this. I'm like, I hate my voice. I'm not going to listen to this, just so you know. <laughs> oh, I, I, I... Not, nothing, nobody's going to value what I say. Who cares? But then there's people like, Alex, shout out to Alex. Like, no, people, you're pretty interesting. So do you it for sure me. Are. So I'm doing it as a favor for him. And I guess, <laughs> let's so see hopefully how it goes. I'll, my mailbox will explode after this. Oh, episode. sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to send you all these these emails because that, that's the thing, you know. I was doing this without any expectations. I was just doing, I would love to talk to people about several subjects and, and topics. And then all of a sudden, you know, first uh, messages come in, just like, oh, great thing that you did or great interview. Or uh, I had a, I had a girl from, from Finland. She came from Canada, uh, five children. She lives now in Finland with her family. She said, oh, man, Rob, you're so such a rare person, like extinct, ex, uh, almost extinct, just like the dinosaurs that yeah, yeah, worked yeah. on Earth. But, but she said, <laughs> if you if you feel like it you can come to me in finland and there there's a bed and we can talk and we can you know just like wow but that's what's happening when you connect to people and you be honest with yourself with your own feelings and, and even tell no and t tell yes right and you know the thing is just like what you said when you get a divine download you know, just like Rob, and now you're talking to me like within a week. When in 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 a few days, like two or three days, I think about you. You think about me probably because there's nothing faster than this energy that we have oh, yeah. inside of us. Yeah. There's no five G, six G, ten G, whatever G, that's going to connect faster than what we do. There's only <laughs> one G. Yeah, one God. <laughs> There's only one G that's God. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. Love that. Oh, man. Time is flying when you're having fun because I don't know time. I don't know about you. I don't like the, 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 because it's, that's, uh, deceiving also. But we're two hours ahead and 50 minutes. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Disorganized Productions, fellow human. You're so disorganized. Oh, I love that. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, but before you go, I have 12 questions for my guest. Oof, okay. I don't know shoot. if you listened to one of my podcasts already. I did. All right. So you uh, probably know the questions, right? Actually, I, I think I know the first two. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's no props. That's no props. But I have to tell you, uh, I was on Vika's show the other day, like two weeks ago. Uh, helio uh, psychosis oh, i heard it and he uh <laughs> he asked me the same questions that i have for my guests and i was struggling my friend <laughs> i was i just like oh my god what do what do my guests go through because some of them just like uh, point blank you know just like oh go, hopping on the podcast blah 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 and then they're gonna have like oh 12 questions yeah let's get it on just like oh mm. this is hard so <laughs> But just, you can have multiple answers to the question. There's no wrong or right. You want to have you, options? You, <laughs> if you want to have options, I can give you options. So the no. first question will be, Milton, what's your perception or definition of God? God is love. Warmth, positive energy, 
the, the the connection you have with the person it's it's love the fuzzies that make you feel good the light inside of you that's what i i i, I, I describe as god wow and probably you know the next question but what's your definition of the devil Wisdom. Please explain. Curiosity, questioning, finding the truth. If God is love, you have to be alert of your surroundings. And yes, God loves your environment, but the devil helps you understand how things work. And there's got to be a, a balance. And sometimes too much love will hurt you. So that's when your understanding of how to maneuver love needs to step in. So it's it's... You can love too much because you get hurt. Even we, the whole society, how it's designed, maybe they're not hiding God. Maybe God is hiding from us because we can't handle God. God is hurt, maybe. So he's lashing out. So the distraction is there because God is in pain. Hmm. I don't that's, wow. I, I don't know. I love that point of view, Milton. I do. I think that's hmm. something that a lot of people should uh, think about. All right. Well, What's your favorite color? Going back to origin, I always like red, mm -hmm. but learning about astrology, no, this is your color, blue. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aquarius, right? Yes. So yeah. I'm like, yeah, I like blue's cool, but deep down in me, red. Uh -huh. It's funny because I never told anybody this, but like my dreams, the, the, the dreams that woke me up screaming during the day, not during the night, I... I was on top. I had the view of God, maybe. I don't know. And there was red and blue. It's like a football field. They were just attacking one another. And the camera will zoom in and out. And then eventually they all clashed. Huh. That was, yeah. So anyways, red. <laughs> I'll go with red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Fucking Aquarius. I'm sorry. <laughs> you edit this out. <laughs> oh no no no! I'm not. I'm not. I love this. I love this. Oh, What's your uh, favorite music? Um, again, back to my childhood. I like rancheras, Mexican. It's mariachi, somewhat. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think it's more lyrics, okay, than music and melody. There's mm -hmm. no genre. Emotion. It's more. Because I do, there's a lot of melodies that stay with you, even as a childhood. Yeah, emotion. Yeah. Mm. That, and I see, I hear the melodies in different genres. So I think it's the melody that connects me with music. Right. So I don't know if there's a genre. I think it's just, it feels good. Maybe it's a frequency. I think it is. I think it is because if you're feeling a little bit depressed or so, somebody that you love, uh, died, you, you resonate with some melo, melodramic music and stuff like that, you know? This yeah. It's like uh, Tears in Heaven from, from like Eric Clapton. Yeah. Or, uh, and when you're pumped up, like you want to go to a party and you listen to some other kind of music, like the, the pump, I would pump it up, the, 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 yeah. then you resonate with that one. But it's, it's funny because even at the gym when I'm working out, maybe a sad song will build my emotions. Hmm. It's it's weird. It's maybe it's the right time. I don't know. It's the frequency, I guess. Right, right. 
And what's your favorite uh, movie or series? Oh man, because I I like psychology. I love the psychology of people and transformation of people. Movie Monster with Charlize Theron, where she was a prostitute, uh -huh. but she had the option to kill herself or spend the five dollar that she had just given a blowjob to a guy. Mm. She chose to live. Maybe it's the whole choice thing, right? She went to a bar to spend five dollars on a beer. And then she met somebody that maybe elongated her life, and she probably hurt more as opposed to just ending it. Actually, I didn't even know it. That's where I liked it. I just like the acting, but <laughs> <laughs> the whole, <laughs> the whole transformation story, she right? went through. Yeah, true, true story. story. Or, or is it? Because you know they probably <laughs> added some stuff. But yeah. yeah, I think it was just the whole growth and life and death and the acting, her transformation, psychologically, how other people could change your life in an instant. Mm. Great one. Yeah. What's your favorite book? I don't know. I never like to read. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite audio book? <laughs> even that like i'm not i'm more of a visual person anyway but i do remember in in high school there was this, a book about a slave girl and the book was so simple like easy to read mm -hmm. i don't even remember the title but i think it was more i think i'm more i like connecting with people and and It's funny because I always like to put myself in the other person's shoes. Like I like to go inside their heads. Uh -huh. But I guess I don't, that's a bad answer. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a book. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> so <laughs> now we got an easy one for you. And I think you're already. Uh, I'm kind of complicated for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite uh, beverage or drink? Ugh. Tequila. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that was easy. Hopefully, we're gonna we're gonna uh, cheer one day yeah. in our lifetime together with the tequila. If you ever want to come to LA, like I'll host you. I have a place for oh. you to stay. Wow, Alex um, is coming in June. Oh, I just have to be honest with you. I always had something go on with America. Just like, oh, I would love to go there. Um, and yes, well, that's that's. Nothing is coincidence, right? So yesterday we were checking out the uh, the flight costs mm -hmm. to go to LA or New York or something like that. It, it, I think it's like two or three hundred dollars I could be in LA, right? And it's less expensive than go by train from here to the to Amsterdam, like two hundred kilometers away. It's like sixty or seventy bucks, something like that. So flying three or five thousand kilometers away to the United States will be mm -hmm. less expensive than being in my traveling in my own country. So yes, coming back to your question, I would love to be in the United States, and probably this year is going to be the year for that. You don't have to worry about housing. There's no cost for that. So wow, thank you. Oh, LA is going to be me. Oh wow, <laughs> that's I would love that. I would love that. Um, what's your favorite food, Milton? Oh, man. It brings me back to my childhood. It's Mexican, but it's a torta, a sandwich. A torta. A torta. It's like ham. And it's just, it's, I love bread. So it's like a sandwich, but it reminds me of my childhood when my mom used to struggle to go to work. She used to walk a lot. And then I remember just waiting for her. And she brought me tortas. Ah. So that's because it hits home with me. And I still haven't found the right torta, but that's that's what it is. It's just a sandwich. I love sandwiches overall. I think all cultures have some kind of sandwich. Mm -hmm. Bread and meat, that's all I need. Oh, yeah. <laughs> love it. Love it. And probably mom makes the best, right? Yeah, I, yeah. And yeah. I probably took that for granted, but yeah. Yeah. They do. Uh, Milton, what kind of clothing you like to wear the most? Uh, 
Just this, a shirt. I like to be barefooted. That's even good. at home. Yeah. Rounded. I haven't been in nature like that before because maybe, uh, you know, they put a fear on me that I'm going to get something. <laughs> they, did. they did. They did. Yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just shirt, shorts. That's it. Yeah, but I think you're also living in a part of the world like LA. It's like uh, good, good weather conditions, right? Yeah, we're now 70s, 77. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, I, I'm living in, in a very cold, windy... I've never seen snow. Huh? i never seen it. Not? I'm no. going to send you some pictures or, or, <laughs> or, or a movie about the Netherlands. I've seen... Okay, thank you. I've seen movies... Yeah, but, yeah, thing. you know, it's the perspective of the uh, the director how they want to point out how the how, how the Netherlands are, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's a very small country, and we are uh, uh, we keep the water out with dikes. We are very good with water, and uh, it's flat. It's totally flat. Everything's it's flat. Cold and rainy, and well, the summers are quite good. Everything is flat. <laughs> it's yeah. like flat bottom <laughs> girls well no there are some that they have some good roundings but <laughs> hmm. that's uh yeah i i love the country but uh it has changed just like so many other countries in this world like the last couple of 10 15 years that really yeah it's hmm. what's your favorite holiday destination oh Anywhere where there's nature, I guess. Uh, Mexico, because that's where I came from. But and actually, I've never been to a lot of places, so I don't really know. But just being with nature, like nothing too industrial. Um, the best place I remember is Oregon. Mm -hmm. They have cascades, and then um, our family there has like a vineyard, and then we're just there drinking wine with a nice landscape. You can't so be that. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay, we have the last two questions, Milton. What's your favorite quote? Oh, life is a dream, death is an awakening. I have that tattooed. Wow. Oh, I just wanted to ask you, but oh, yeah. already I sent it out in the ether and my uh, question has been answered. Oh, wow. I do have tattoos. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I heard this quote, and then I'm like, wait, that hits it. And have you seen the movie La Bamba? They actually say it in the movie, but I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> like, no, oh, man, people it. think they quoted me. La Bamba, no? No, I don't think so. I'll send it to you. Um, it's sad. It's always, it always makes you cry. But, um, yeah, so in Spanish, la vida es un sueño, la muerte es un despertar. So life is a dream, death is an awakening. I love Spanish, man. I love Spanish. I, I don't know what it is, but uh, the way they pronounce words. And just like uh, the Buena Vista Social Club with Ray Cooter, that brought me to that, that Cajun music or what's, mm -hmm. what it is. And they were singing about a fire truck, but the way they, 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 they say just like, uh, Maria is in a building with fire and there comes a fire truck. But how they, how they do that with this, Oh, I look! I get goosebumps all over. Love that man. That just it's <laughs> something that, just like you said, it's emotion that that resonates with you in right. that time, or think Frequency. about the memories in your life that you have with some things that that. Yeah, man, I love that. Yeah, music is something that that's. Wow, wow! I love to do it myself also. Yeah, I know. I've heard you. Oh, you heard me! Oh my god, you're popular. Just so you know. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Uh, own it <laughs> yeah thanks thanks <laughs> last question milton what's your life's motto Oof. man i wish i had something deeper <laughs> just um be kind i learned that about myself i'm not a nice person all the time i could be an asshole but i'm kind hmm. i see that good in people I like helping people. It hurts me sometimes, but I'm kind. Be kind. Love that one. 
left that one. I had a great time. We're two and a half hours ahead now. Oof. And I'm sorry. I, no, oh no, don't be sorry. No, no, no. This, this, this is just like it should be, right? Mm. Because just like I said, time is something that's been put into into uh, yeah. something that isn't existing for me. Oh, that's another model for me. I'd rather spend money than time. Mm. Time is more valuable. Oh, yeah. And you can double everything in life except time. Yeah. Yeah. If buying something, if that's stopping you from growing, I'm like, get rid of it. Move yeah. on. Remove remove that obstacle. Just continue. You have time now. Yeah. Right. Right. Oh man, this is it was great talking to you, man. Yeah, uh, likewise. Great. Uh we we gonna keep in contact. I of will course. um do the stuff I have to do and I'm gonna send you the link right away because it's gonna be today, probably within a few hours that are gonna edit everything. I'm not oh, going wow. to edit anything out, just to be honest with you, because I like conversations as they go. Um, yeah, um, we keep it in contact, man. Uh, there's another fellow human there that I really like to talk to and uh, that I want to hug also. Damn yeah. It. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. We will. Yeah, we will. We will. Thank you for we'll your time, your energy. Thank you, and, uh, of course. We'll keep in touch. Yes, we do. Thank you very much, Milton. And for all the listeners, have a beautiful morning, a beautiful day, or a beautiful evening, no matter where you are on this beautiful plain planet. We're running for all my life with the devil on my heels. He wasn't always kind, and he couldn't fulfill my dreams. I'm running for all my life, with the devil on my heels. He wasn't always kind, and he couldn't fulfill my dreams. He's a pain in the ass, black as a night. God, show me the light. He's a pain in the ass, black as a night. God, show me the light and hold me tight. For I've been running for all my life with the devil on my heels. He wasn't always kind and he couldn't fulfill my dreams. He's a pain in the ass, black as a night. God, show me the light and hold me tight.